While I was running the free cancer clinic for Kampung Sanang, meeting all these cancer patients, the idea of Compassionate Fund came about. One of the key things that happens in the treatment of cancer is people lose their hair. And that's very disturbing for people because all of us attach a lot of importance to hair. If you use open up a newspaper, you will see how many ads there are about hair, how people should dye their hair, straighten their hair, perm their hair, this their hair, that their hair. Everybody, including male, are obsessed with their hair. So when people are undergoing cancer treatment, they lose their hair and that's very painful for most patients. We look upon hair as ego. So there's something else. When you give up hair here, you're actually losing your ego here. I support alternative therapy so I wanted to do something whereby people get a choice of also using alternative therapies for healing from cancer. Now if you again look at it there is insurance package for mainstream medicine but there is no insurance for alternative therapies and I wanted people to come out compassionately to help create a fund which will give patients a choice to do alternative therapy for their healing if they wanted to. And from there I decided that what's a better way than give, giving up my own hair for compassion. So that's why I cut for compassion. Plus the hair that I give is not going to be wasted. Blocks of Love which is another organization which makes wigs or skull caps for children who lose their hair due to any illnesses. These skull caps can be fitted on their hair and their run around and play. So in giving my hair, not only am I helping create the compassionate fun, but also reaching out to children who need to wear those wigs and run around and play. So I'm connecting so many people. Now why I wanted to be a Shavy? Because through me, I will be connecting to a large number of patients, especially cancer patients who are suffering from the cancer illness, the fear illness, the pain illness, the sad illness. And this is where I'm going to be holding hands. And this is where I am going to generate funds and inspire people to come forward and open their hearts, open their minds, open the way they think, change their whole perspective about looking at life and living.